This is a uh, 1850s Ward's quadricycle. I know David got this, I believe, in Pennsylvania. I remember about 30 years ago him talking about it. And uh, I think maybe it's the most valuable machine in the wholesale, but it's a real unusual, not many of them around. And uh, this is a special machine, one of Dave's favorites. You know, David Metz loved his bicycles and uh, I'm very happy that they're going to go all out to the new, the new collectors and the new owners. It'll uh, it'll be a great day. This is a circa 1885 Columbia Two track. It's an adult tricycle. Uh, it's a rideable bike too. This is a great, great parade machine. Uh, one of the one of the better models too for rideability. It's a good. Good rider, as they say. Nice condition, it's got a nameplate. A pretty valuable bicycle. This is a 1884 Victor. We believe that this is one of the first high wheel tricycles made in the United States. Not this model, but Victor's. And it was made in Chicopee Falls, Massachusetts. It's got 48 inch wheels, could use tires which are easily done. Other than that, it looks like a good rideable machine. And Victor is always a high quality, a very well built machine. This is an 1885 Rudge Kangaroo. It has a serial number on it. Uh, good English safety high wheel. Looks like all the gearing is good. Um, these ride pretty well. Nice, valuable machine, too. I think our estimate is eleven to 13000 on this one. It has the patent date right here. And one of Metz's better machines. This is one of the most interesting machines in the entire sale, as far as I'm concerned. I like it the best of any machine. The design is unbelievable. You know, years ago we sold the Pope Library and I remember an article about this in one of the early magazines and as I remember it, the it was made or designed by a Midwest college. I think it was a, for a college for deaf mute people. And uh, I mean, just look at it. It's just a work of art just to look at. I can't imagine what it rides like, but um, you want a one of a kind. I don't think anybody else has one of these. It's a great bike. I think it was one of David Benz's best, best bikes also. This is a circa 1898 wooden bicycle, wooden framed bicycle, made in Chicago. It's called the Ligna. Um, if you're gonna collect, if you're gonna collect uh, pneumatic safeties, these are exotic as it gets. These are wonderful machines. This one is in particularly good condition. Nice scroll work. Uh, it's a wonderful machine. These are his and hers Chileans. Uh, wooden bicycles again. Beautiful, beautiful workmanship. It's the first time I've had a matched pair like this. Uh, they're very special bicycles. This is a 1955 Huffy radio bike. It looks very original to me. Pretty collectible post-war bike. Nice condition, original. That's the way you want to find them. Around 1915, Indian. It's got the desirable tank decal still on the frame. Uh, Indians and Harley Davidsons are really, really collectible pneumatic safeties. This is a pretty good example of one, too. Eighteen ninety-two, Elliot Hickory. This one first at a Wheelman meet. It's a restored example from the Metz Museum. 
And it's a nice little size one, a youth size. This year's sale has a lot of great collectibles in it. We have lamps in the original boxes, multiple lots, and I mean multiple lots, of head badges. There's all sorts of things here. A lot of tin types, buttons, tons of buttons. We have a still bank here, the, the famous Young America Bank. Souvenir spoons, there's a Pope paperweight. A great collection of photography in this sale. I, I would say it's the most uh, photography we've ever presented. We're really happy. This is real historic stuff. I'm, I'm sure the wheelman will be very happy with these offerings. I think we have over a hundred bicycle catalogs uh, that from mostly 1890s on and uh, what a selection. It's a truly a good selection this year. A restored Rex from 1898. That's about as exotic a model as you'll ever see. They used to say that they would float over bumps. That's why they have this unique suspension system. Really, really a beautiful example. Over here is an 1890s C model Victor. It has the spring set up with coaster pegs right on the springs, split tube frame with brakes. Uh, quite a bike, quite a bike. Pre war roll fast. Uh, Dave had this painted up in a really, really bright, stunning kind of showy look that he liked so much. But boy, that's a looker if you want to go on a parade with that. That's the one you want right there. It's got a shifter right here, two-speed rear. It's a cool bike. We have a whole wall full of early pneumatics and early hard tire safeties. This is a Gormley and Jeffrey with a wonderful Hairspring, I call that. This is a Hickory wheeled bike. You know, I'm not sure if it's an Elliott Hickory or not. I believe Elliott Hickory made this. Not so sure on that one. Another one here is this Singer. Hard tire safety. Good rider. Another Gormally and Jeffrey. This is a split frame, Columbia Light Roadster, lot number 58, with bell. And over here, this hard tire safety, we couldn't figure out who made it. It looks like a Rover, but we're not sure. This is a Warwick. And it's got a very unusual frame that curves down with double tubes. This is quite a machine right here. A Punnett Companion Sociable. These changed the way men and women dated in the Victorian era. You could take your date out, and I guess the parents thought it was okay if they were riding a bicycle. I always wonder about that, but... Um, there it is, that's a nice machine. Okay. I believe this is from the 30s World Fair. David likes gadget, David Metz I should say, like gadget bikes. And this is a water bike and uh, this is really a deep bike. Good condition, ready to go in a museum or in your pool. This wall is 11 high wheels, probably the earliest one here, kind of transition, it's wrought iron. Here's a uh, youth example, this is kind of a standard size. These are called all brights with this nickel plating. Another, that's a large high wheel. Springfield Roadster with geared riding. 
This is an eagle, very rare bike, didn't make a lot of eagles. A facile from England. A star. I believe that stars were the most made, the most manufactured models, single models. Uh, very popular bike, another star. This is a early high wheel here, a child's high wheel. A uh, collection of porcelains, steins, a lot of metlac steins. These porcelains are pretty hard to come by. There's also a Stevens bicycle gun, a pistol with a frame on it. A book by Zimmerman. I think if I had to pick one bike that would make David the happiest of all his collection, it might have been this one, Zimmy, and I was privileged enough to get it for him. An antique dealer showed up one day and my son says, said, hey dad, it says Zimmy on it. And boy, were we surprised. I shipped it right off to Dave and I kidded him for years. I told him it was a lot of money. I just charged him for the shipping for it. Uh, we got it for almost nothing and gave it to him for almost nothing. Um, he sent me a plaque that he had after he restored it, which is, I, I have one of these for me, and this is from the museum. Here's a picture in a magazine of David holding it. And of course, you know, Arthur Augustus Zimmerman was the world champion racer from Freehold, New Jersey, where the museum was. And uh, here's a catalog. This is the only one anybody's ever found. And, showed up at Copake and now it's here to be sold again. I'll be thinking very fondly of David when this goes up. This is a pretty iconic bike. It's a Schwinn Phantom and it's on a Schwinn dealer test rider. We're selling them separately but uh, I guess this is the one of the most iconic bikes. People always call and want to know if I have a Schwinn Phantom in the sale. This year we have a couple of them. This is an 1870s English bone shaker in really good patina. And next to it is an 1890s American poster, Columbia chainless. This is a, as good an example as you'll see. This is an 1898 crypto, an English bike with a geared hub. This is a revolutionary bike for its period. David loved quirky bikes. He loved things that looked wild and, and behaved wild. And boy, nothing's wilder than this. This is a seesaw bicycle from a circus. And this is classic Mets right here. Uh, you know, he loved children. He loved children to come to his museum. And um, this is the type of stuff that really made Dave very happy. He was uh, he's a wonderful man. This is a boot bicycle. I don't know, you know, it's another clown bicycle. And uh, he called it the Footmobile. But it's a homemade clown bike. Only from the Mets Museum would you see things like this. They're absolutely wonderful. You know, I believe in this sale, we've got something for everybody. Pneumatics, Funny looking tricycles here, lightweights. We have some 60s middleweights, a Schwinn Phantom, a Roadmaster, another Schwinn Balloon bike. And here's another uh, one of David's clown bikes, and the wheel is egg shaped so it oscillates. Down here we have a land speed record bike, it's a Hutch. Lots of tricycles. Another water bike from the World's Fair. Here's a children's tricycle with a sidecar. Pretty cool. Irish males. This is an exerciser right here. Tiller tricycle. Little Harley Davidson motorcycle bicycle. 
it's quite a selection of bicycles. It's it's the most items we've ever had in a sale. And uh, I think everybody will be happy with this sale. 